Fucking hell, man. Bless you. They just wanted to rip his dick off and sell tape it to his head because I've never had so much shame in life. I do Instagram. Really sorry about that. Oh, that's what I needed to do. <laughs> Good morning. Two weeks left at, no, sorry, two shifts left at Aldi this week. So we finish Aldi this week. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Just going home, filming a video, and then I've got an exciting call at three. Potentially exciting. Yeah. Just getting last week's vlog saved and uploaded, and we're on track. We are on track this week. Okay, so silly me thought that I could get the makeup done in an hour and a half, and no, I'm definitely not done yet. But this is how far I've got. Can anyone guess what the look is going to be? Anyway, uh, I've got 20 minutes now before my call, so I'm going to stop there because I don't want it to all start printing on each other. Or I could even do the skin, maybe. But yeah, that's it so far. Oh, we're up. It is quarter past three. I've just had something to eat. Um, but she's not rang me yet. 15 minutes late. Mm, has she forgot about me? I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to carry on with the makeup. I have completed the makeup. I'm a bit unsure. It's a bit of a weird one. But here we go. <laughs> it's supposed to be Aldi. So like, you know, the colours of Aldi. I'm very dramatic, aren't I? So I was going to do like an Aldi leave-in post. Um, I like the liners. I'm just not sure that it screams Aldi. I look more like a drag kind of queen. But yeah, as you can see, those are the Aldi colours. I just don't know whether it translates. And I didn't know what earrings to wear because I usually just wear hoops. But I just thought that looked... Does it make sense? So <laughs> I've used my customer care Aldi badge and won it because you usually only see half of me. <laughs> so, I mean, 10 points for creativity, but yeah, I wish I had two. I'm trying to think what else I could do. It just doesn't really scream Aldi. I don't know. I didn't really want it to be like a creative look, though. I wanted it to be like an Aldi glam look. Not gonna start painting trolleys all over me and stuff, but yeah, it's all right. I think it looks cool when your eyes are shut, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How oh, dodgy does this look? I look a clown. No fucking way, mate. Just in that takeaway then, and we were just looking out the window, and this this woman had come in, and um. <laughs> I'm just looking out the window waiting for the food and I see this van and I just went, fuck you know, that shit that in it. Saying that to my brother and then this woman just turns around and what Sorry, future Jenna here. I just need to interject. I actually gave a bit too much description in this clip and I've realised that's not a smart thing to do because what if, it, what if this person sees this video? So yeah, basically what I did was I looked out the window uh, when we were all waiting for food this woman come in it was me and my brother this woman and then i was just looking out the window i saw this van and i was like oh i read the uh, business name on the van and i was like i read the name out loud and then i went fucking hell that shit that in it and then this woman just turns around and goes i didn't name it and i was like fuck <laughs> oh i started laughing i went oh I'm sorry <laughs> She was like, you never know who's listening, which is very true, very true, clearly. Yeah, fucking, it was a funny, funny experience. Then the guy behind the counter was even laughing. Oh dear, Jenna, only me. I knew exactly, like, I knew as soon as I'd said it as well. I just I felt this thing come over me and I was like, fuck, like that's her plan, isn't it? I keep thinking of this. Oh, mate. <laughs> I was always one of them people who slagged off TikTok because it is fucking cringe, you know, when people are dancing about and that was not a fart. Doing all the lip syncing and that shit. And I was just like, nah, I'm never getting that. Like, that's embarrassing. Then I ended up getting it, loving it, posting all the time. Um, I still don't do the dances, but <laughs> who knows what the future holds. But um, I love a good uh, lip sync. They just make me laugh and I've just done two. Two Aldi ones. And they're honestly probably so sad and so cringy, but <laughs> I just think they're so fucking fun to film. I don't know why. I think because I'd love to be an actress. So this is like as close as you're going to get doing a lip sync. 
So yeah. I just think they're really funny. I'm going to insert them so you can cringe at me. It's fine. Um, but they're just so fucking fun to film. I'm not even asked at this point. Hi. Just this. So your total is $2.98. Would you like to donate your two cents change to help starving blind children in Africa who are running for their lives and all they want is a place to sleep at night? No, thank you. Okay. Would you like a bag for 20 cents? Yes, I would. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, work? Yes, I'm afraid I can't come back in tomorrow. Because I have a new life now. I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I like the red lips as well. Why have I not done red lips with pink hair yet? Oh, have I? I don't even know. Just come downstairs and looked out into the garden. And what the fuck's going on here? What's with all the Halloween lighting? I don't know if my dad thinks he's in Tenerife or friggin' Halloween Town or what, but what is that normal? Why green? Dickhead. Hello. Oh my god, I probably look. I look dead. No, probably look. I look dead. <laughs> I think I've stained around my eyes somehow. I don't understand how though, because that was blue underneath, so it's stained red. I don't know. Anyway. I was supposed to do a makeup look today before work, but it's 12 o'clock now because I went to bed later because I just couldn't wake up. So, yeah. Cocked it up a bit there. Uh, so, I'm going to have to do the makeup look tomorrow and then I'm just going to spend today editing. So, boring day. Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't provide you with that entertainment. Um, But, so the phone call yesterday did eventually end up having it. And, yeah. So... I've just signed with a new management, so that is potentially exciting. Had a bit of a bad experience with the last one though, so I say potentially exciting because who knows, maybe, you know, maybe it's going to be the same, maybe it's going to be different, maybe it's going to be really good, but yeah, potentially good thing. Second to last shift. Okay, four shifts down, one to go one to go i got to leave early as well uh, an hour early because we'd done everything already i felt bad though i felt like i was cheating like my last two shifts i felt like i was cheating the system there oh it's starting to feel a bit emotional now but i also can't wait to fucking get it over with there's this old man that comes in he always comes in i love him good chat he's got an amazing head of hair i don't know how old he is must be like 70s but he's like amazing curly blonde hair so thick and it looks so good and it was a bit shorter today so i said oh you've had a haircut and he said yeah the guy messed it up and i went oh i like it both ways and he said that's what my girlfriend says i did not expect that i was like fucking hell man <laughs> Oh my god, he just was absolutely pissing himself and I was laughing but I was shocked because I thought, does he mean it in a dirty way? And I was like, yeah, actually, he does. And then he was like, oh, I'm only joking. I was like, yeah, I'm not offended. I'm just fucking shocked, mate. <laughs> and then there was this old lady. Oh my god, she was like putting a shopping on like an old turtle, like one mile per hour. I was like, do you want some help with that? She was like, yes, can you pack it for me as well? I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I start packing this full trolley of um, shopping for her. And then everything I'm putting in, she's like, no, don't put that there. All right, okay. No, put that in there. No, put that. Do you want me to do it or not? <laughs> do you want to do it yourself? <laughs> what the fuck's the hell? I'm trying to help you here. What bother next time? I'm pretty sure I had another story as well. But um, if I remember it on the way home, I'll tell you. I'm just sick of people. <laughs> I will not miss... How would you do anything with them nails on? The same as you. I just learned. It's not fucking hard. How did you do anything with them stubs that you've got? Get out of my sight.
get on with it. Please. Just say it, you can't handle nails. Oh, can't be asked. I always say I'm going to be productive. Well, I don't say. I just know I'm going to be productive when I get home. And then I got home and I'm just like, oh, can't be asked. I just want to eat and then I want Jake. But Jake's working night, so I can't see him until Friday. That's fucking shit. Can't be asked. It always seems good because it's like, well, Jake's on night, so that means I can focus and I can get shit done. But then also when it gets to night time, I'm like, mm. Mm. Nights are shit. Oh, come home. I just want to eat everything as well. And I keep, like, I always, like, say to myself, like, just excuse it. I'm like, you know what, you're probably coming on your period and that's why. So just do it, it's fine. But, um, I feel like it's a bit naughty. I just want to eat everything. To be fair, there's not even that much to eat, but I just want to do it. I probably will. Yeah, this is an issue. I've had enough of this. I'm sad. I'm lonely. My nipples hurt. My stomach hurts. I want to eat everything in sight. Where is my period? Where is it? Where is it? No, I'm not pregnant. I just, um, irregular periods. But, um, yeah. I just want it. I know it's coming. It's like lingering, but it's like, oh, where are you? I'm waiting for my pizza. I'm making a pizza. God, it's a tiny thing, but I just, I just need it, you know? I need it. <sighs> I'm not even sorry. Like, I'm not even sorry. I wish that this was four times bigger than it is. Oh my God, it looks so big on there, but it's going to blow me away, this. It's not that big. Ah! Right, well, that pizza was just not that nice. It was quite disappointing, actually. It tasted like it had a barbecue base. I don't know why. It doesn't say that on the box. I don't like a barbecue base. Oh, what a letdown. Uh. Anyway, I've been watching uh, Tattoo Fixers. I really like that show. But I just think, like, so they get a tattoo. It's tiny. It's a bit of a uh, mess not even a mess it's just a bit embarrassing and then they'll cover it with something huge and i'm just like does that not look even worse like i mean they're amazing tattoo artists and the art that they do is sick but i'm just like why cover it with i just doesn't make sense to me like when they show the before and it's like this tiny little mistake that they've done and then the after and it's like half their arm is covered in this photo and i'm just like what just get it removed. Just get it lasered off. I don't know. Just so many things that I think about that show that I just want to ask about. Like, because they'll come in with a tattoo and then they'll say, oh, I want to cover it with something like skulls. And then they'll draw it. I don't know how long it takes because they obviously speed it up. And then they turn around. They've got like the three, maybe two options. And then they're just like, uh, yeah, I'll go for that one. They're choosing something that's going to be on the body for life in a matter of minutes. I don't get it. Like maybe, maybe there's more to it that's not shown because I just watched this one and this guy only got one option. There was only one of them drawing the tattoo for him. He turned the picture around, he went, right, we've gone for skulls. And he went, yeah, that's perfect. It was like five seconds. He was like, yeah, I love that. What? Where, where's the thinking? I think I am just too, yeah, that's just, no, I just, I'm not the person that would do that. So I think it boggles me a lot. <sighs> Good program though. Great program. And Jay is sexy. Oh, gross. I've just read it. it had chili jam on it. So that's why it tasted sweet. Like barbecue sauce. Ugh, gross. Gross. Naughty pizza. I really can't be arsed today. I can't be bothered, I just want to sit in bed and do some easy light edit. I don't want to put makeup on, but I have to. I've got a video that needs to be sent, that needs to be sent by. Well, ASAP really, I should be doing it right now, but tired. But yeah, I'm going to do. Uh, uh. Sorry, cheerio, but I'm going to do, you know, the tortoise shell eye, the big wow, wing, but I'm going to do it baby pink. I don't know whether that's going to look shite, but um, 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yep. Every single day when I hear that doorbell go and it's the postman, I peg it downstairs because obviously post. But I don't want him to think that I'm a dosser and I just don't have a job. I always worry that he thinks because I'm literally home every single time that he comes. <laughs> so I just think he thinks that I'm like, my mum and dad pay for everything. I don't have a job. So I fucking pelt it downstairs threw my dressing gown on the floor I was getting down the as I was getting down the stairs and opened the door. Hi! Try and look like I'm doing something. It's quite sad actually. I wonder what he does think. I do have a job, I promise. I do Instagram. Alright, I finished the look. I'm not too sure on it, but whatever. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Um I need to start it, really I need to start it, but I've just realised like it's a brow collaboration. So yeah, my brows look shit, so I needed to tint them. So this camera does this need a light. That's even worse. But yeah, um I just thought I'd tint them, but I'm fuck it. We're supposed to be handed in by uh, <coughs> today. And obviously it's today and I've not done it yet. And what time is it? It's like one half one. Fuck. I need to do it fucking ASAP. But can I get it sent by the end of the day? Probably not, I'm really slow. So I need to film a video, a story video, and then the actual makeup video. You know how slow I am. Oh, I just, mm, they're not gonna be happy. Okay, so what the fuck's going on here? This looks shit, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not even big enough to fit the bloody thing. Or... I don't know. Anyway, I'm posting now. I'm filming this brow thing now and what they want is no makeup at first and then the tr trans <laughs> the transition because it is the first birthday of the product i've got like a balloon and a party popper they want like a transition sort of like that but i've only got one of these it's a confetti cannon not a party popper fuck me so what i wanted to do was no makeup shoot this at the camera and then the next the next thing you would see is the full face of makeup, but I've got one shot at this. Usually I would film a TikTok like fucking 20 times maybe to just get the one shot. So yeah, <laughs> one shot I've got at this. Oh my God. I'm shitting it. What if, what if I do it right and it does hit the camera, but I'm pulling an ugly face. <sighs> Do you know what? I can't be asked turning the camera on to film this. But um, I'm, I'm going to have to get my dad's phone to film this because I just think it's going to be funny. I feel like I'm going to do it wrong. Let me go. Hey. That was rubbish! Are you joking? I thought it was going to cover the screen. I thought it was going to be so much that you wouldn't be able to... Mate, hey, that was the shittest can I've ever seen. What? I'm my room's a mess. Right, well, thanks for that. So I tried the confetti cannon, it did not work. I tried the balloons, they did not work. Because the see-through, it was supposed to be a transition light. I put the balloon on the camera and then it goes black and then you take it away and then I got the makeup on, you get the gist. But because the balloon was clear, it's a see-through balloon, let me show you, it's ridiculous. Because the balloon is clear like this, I put it on the camera, you can still see me through it. So the transition's not gonna work, man. But it's like birthday theme, so. <sighs> I'm gonna have to nip the Jakes quickly. And get a birthday candle off his mum and then I'm gonna go for the you know lit candle and then when it's blown out you've got a new face on oh my god I'm stressed this had to be done by today but apparently everyone, everyone's having issues with the um props so god stress state of this outfit Just waiting outside Jake's so I can pick up this balloon. Not balloon, candle and get started. I can't even nip in and see Jake though because he's asleep. Rubbish. Secured the goods, secured the goods. They've still got cake on them, but <laughs> they'll be fine, secured the goods. You no, know I was just thinking that would be cool. That would probably never happen, but would be cool. If you had like a group chat with all your neighbors on your street and you're all dead close and nice to each other, and then you could put in the chat, like if there's something you really needed, like urgently, and like the shops are short or you don't have time, and you could just put in a message like, hey, has anyone got any spare birthday candles I could borrow? 
and then then we'll just help you or like hey has anyone got an egg or hey you know has anyone got this or can i borrow this and then someone would just let you know because i always think that like you don't have something and i guarantee someone on your street has got it and it's so irritating because like you're so close to the thing you want but you can't have it and it could save you a lot of messing but yeah just a thought just a thought none of my neighbors would do it though because they're twats no i'm just joking i just don't know many of them that well right it's fucking four o'clock and i've only just got those transitions sorted but i'm happy i'm happy with the beginning now we need to do the makeup okay i finished the look and i like it <gasps> it's yeah it's pink and i like the hair as well am i allowed to say that yeah fuck it i do um i didn't know what to wear for birthday vibes so i've gone for this little dress kind of thing I don't know whether I need to be wearing the same top that I was wearing in this first part of the transition though to make it work. We'll soon see though. But this is really cute hair. I need to do this at some point when I actually leave the house. Yeah. And I think it works well. Um, the tartar shell, even though it's not, what is it not? Not brown. So yeah, happy with that. Okay, it's half eight. I think I've filmed everything. Such a panic though, because sometimes, I remember this one time, I filmed everything. I forgot to take the fucking picture. I say I remember this one time, it was like last week. So yeah, I'm a bit of a panic. I'm in a bit of a panic because, well, I'm not really. No, you can see that I'm not panicking. I'm just, I just want my fucking tea. Oh, yeah. So I've finished the videos for the brand. I've done the stories. I oh that's what I needed to do oh my god just look how amazing that golden hour looks oh, can you even tell I wish I was on that farm right now they are gonna be getting the sickest lighting okay okay now we're done now we're done sorry I forgot something there forgot I had to finish that hourly TikTok that I did but I finished it it was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, sorry i'm really sorry about that yeah i want to post it to my instagram but um i just don't know how i feel about posting tiktok like, i feel like it's safe on tiktok because you can post whatever you want because no one's really on it like there are people on it but like no one that i really know so i just fucking post whatever i want but then um <laughs> i don't think i could post that i'll be tiktok on there it's a bit too cringe but then again fuck it uh gonna say it's funny but maybe it's not <laughs> anyway i think we're done here because i feel fucking sick so i'm gonna go out and film a removal and then i'm gonna go and make my tea make my tea make my tea oh. is that not the um is that not what you was looking for mm. you know what i can't believe i used to do this without a ring light because like it or not I don't like it. Um, my makeup removal videos, they're just the videos that do the best. Like, no one's asked about the makeup application, but on TikTok, all they want to see is me take it off. So I feel like that has made the videos, you know, the extra mile. Mm. Lighting's fucking key, boys and girls, what can I say? I'm so sorry. I know I always go on about my plants, but look what I've just seen. So go down, 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 down. down. There's a little baby. How cute is that? Fucking well cute. Fucking starving, let's go eat. Just been waiting for my dad to come in the kitchen for ages. I've literally made my entire tea, finished my entire tea, and he was still watching the football. He's just come in then, face like a slant hat. I went, he went, no, he just went, and then he just walked off and went to bed. Look at now, man, it's just football. Men. How gross is this? I've just, I can't get the vacuum out because it's so fucking late, so I've put sellotape around my hands to dab up that confetti and I accidentally stuck it to my lip and ripped it. And now look, I've got two splits in my lip. That's, what's this as well? Oh, it's just stuff. Uh, fucking hurts. Best place in the world. Honestly, you could never be a fucking Barnsley. Best place to go in. To invent the pushing toilet from Barnsley. Barnsley's the place for it. 
And what's the best thing about Barnsley? You're looking at it later. I'm well known for getting stripped off, showing me arse off, and just generally being fucking mental. Two o'clock in the morning and I'm crying at tattoo fixes. God, they've got some fucking sad stories on it. I need to go to bed. Wow, it's like we've been blessed. Hello. Carter. <laughs> Bless you. What are you doing? Fair enough. <laughs> well, I've been five minutes on the grass because why not? It's sunny. And I've not even sat on the grass properly yet. Can't even see. Can't see, fuck it. Oh look, there's already a turd on the grass. Right, I'm gonna have to get up now because I am pissed wet through. It's 12 o'clock. I am starting the Creator, Re Creator Revolution Challenge. Now, I want it done ASAP. I don't want to be doing this all day when it's sunny. So I'm gonna see if I can do it in two and a half hours. Right, go. Do you know what? I've never tried Revolution products before and I always thought they were like cheaper end products. Um, to be fair, I don't actually know how much they are. But um, I thought it was like a drugstore kind of thing. Maybe it is, I don't know. But these are really nice. Like, I'm just trying this Revolution palette now. It's the it's rainbow fucker. Um, and it's the fucking beautiful colours. Like, I've not even put that much on. And it's just, whoa, beautiful. Oh, my goodness, right. Really random story. But this is my foundation brush, right? And I just, I'd just done my foundation. And then I just saw it and looked at it and I thought, why is it pink? What? And I was literally staring at it for like a minute. I was like, what? I don't... Why is it pink? Like, I was thinking, like, has my hair leaked onto it? Like, have I started, like, radiating pink? I was just so confused. Because this is definitely my foundation. And then I realised I opened up another one the other week to do uh, the unicorn, not unicorn, the octopus look. That was, that was a confusing moment. Also, can I just say, if you're looking for a good cream blush, then the P. Louise, what's it called? Winter Rose base is just beautiful. Doesn't look that good on here, but if you can see it in real life, it's like, it's just so cute. Yeah, they work really well. I mean, you don't even have to get this color, but they work really nicely as, Blushes, cream blushes, yeah, beautiful. Okay, I am done. It didn't take me two hours, but it took me three and 20 minutes, so. No, I think it was three, actually. So, not too bad. And there we have it. I'm supposed to be uh, an artist, if you can't tell. Going for the messy paint look. Well, apparently I'm a French artist. Maybe that's a bit of a stereotype, but, well, it is the fucking stereotype. But yeah, I thought it'd be cool. Um, oh my god, I've also made this little palette for the picture, so I thought that'd be cute. Um, and then I think that's everything, I just need to finish the video. An email! Oh my god, I'm done, I absolutely feel so weak. <laughs> what time is it? It's half five. I've done all the videos, I've done the pictures, I forgot to do the pictures so I had to go back and do them. Um, I think I've done everything, I'm just waiting for the sun to come out, back out one more time. Cause look at that. <laughs> uh, just so I can get this one last picture and then film the removal and then, oh my God, I can eat something, but I need to re-dye my hair, do my tan. It just never stops. I was just thinking like, well, I've been thinking this week, like obviously <laughs> I'm doing what I love full time now, which is amazing. Like the dream, it's the dream. It's what I've always wanted to do, do this full time. So, you know, very grateful, very lucky. Um, but oh my god <laughs> it sounds like fun like yeah just sit at home do you make all day you know take some pictures oh my god it is fucking tiring it's so irritating that people just think oh yeah i could do that i could no you fucking couldn't it's a lot of work <sighs> i just feel ill after every day it feels like a proper job a nine to five i don't know why i'm saying this like i've not been doing it for ages but um I think because I've been like proper doing it now, you know, like, every single day, start to finish. So it's a bit more tiring, but bloody hell. I mean, it's good because then I can have my week. I'd say I can have my weekend, but I probably won't even do that. I'll probably still do content at the weekend, but um, I don't know. It's great, but I'm tired. <laughs> I had a boy say that to me once. I can do that. 
literally just wanted to rip his dick off and sell tape it to his head because I've never heard so much shit in my life. <sighs> my flowers are dying. I just asked my mum what she thinks I am. What do you think I am? Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. This literally one wash. Ew, mascara goop. Chandler would not like that. I've not cleansed it, okay? Yeah, literally one wash, and look how faded it is. Oh my god. To be fair, I did give it a big scrub, and it's probably because it's been bleached so much recently. It's probably soaked it all up. Anyway, I'm gonna redye it now. Redye it now. Um, I'm going in. I am going in. I diluted the Manic Panic Cotton Candy last time, but I'm actually just putting it on this time um, there's like three tubs in there. Yes. right so we're on oh my god i look horrible i need to cleanse um yeah we're on i mixed it though with this paint box whiter shade of pale and i've been very skeptical about this in the past because it's supposed to be what you mix your dye with to make it lighter pastel -y. But the thing is, like, it's it's a white toner also, so it's not just going to pastelise it, it's going to tone it as well, it's going to make it cool tone. So I always thought, like, why, why would I put it with that? Because it's going to go, like, a slightly purple tone, do you know what I mean? So yeah, but I thought, fuck it, no, I'll use it. And it's it's looking a little bit purpley, I hope it washes off to it. I want it a really nice bright neon pink. I just want it fresh and bright, but I'm feeling like, yeah, I should have just done it with conditioner. I mean, I, did, I barely diluted it, but, you know, I didn't have enough dye, so I put a bit of this, well, I put the full bottle in. <laughs> I had a lot, okay, I've got a lot of hair. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to leave it on that long, because, I mean, if you think about it, God, I ramble, don't I? If you leave a white toner on, a purple one, silver one, whatever, it's going to go purple eventually, isn't it? So... Yeah, I was gonna leave it on for an hour, but I think I'll just leave it on for like 10, 15 minutes. I am caked in it, by the way. Look at that, my hair's not even tied up. My hair's not even tied up. I've just slopped it back and it's just stuck in place because there's so much dye. Ah, it's nice to have a lot though. I hate when you're struggling for dye. You get near the end, oh, you've got like half your head left and you've got nothing left. Ah. Just watched Ashley Kane's um speech at his funeral was absolutely sobbing oh, not good not good i've literally checked their so both their fucking hell like voice is gone i've been checking both of their social medias like every single day it's just too sad though just too sad fuck my life i've just gone to wash it off but mum and dad keep turning off the hot water it's on a schedule now so I went to wash it off and the shower is freezing cold. So I'm going to have to wait for the water to heat up. So my hair is inevitably going to be purple. I really hope that this lightens up and goes a lot more neon when I dry it. Let's see. Right, well, this is the wet side, as you can see. And this is the dry side. It's got a bit of oil in it there. Not much different. It looks really light on here. It looks like purple in the mirror. Can you see? Fuck's sake. I'm never using that white shade of pale thing again. What the fuck have I done? Oh, you don't even look that bad on camera, but not happy. On a trip to really annoyed now. Just looked at my TikTok from the other day and I really liked the colour. The other day, yesterday, I really liked the colour of it. It was just fading a bit, so I thought I'd top it up. What the fuck's this? Do you know what colour I want? I want this colour. The colour of this goddamn bag. Now, you're probably thinking, it's not that deep. It is. It actually is. What the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, I'm in a bad mood. Look at this, man. So she's just got a tattoo. Oh, she's just got a tattoo done, right? <laughs> she starts walking off with her pants down. <laughs> what a dick. Just done my time. Had a horrible dream, nightmare. Cheated on Jake.
bloody hell. And then, um, he was on his way home from work. So, I was just thinking of what to say the whole time. And I was, like, sweating and stuff. Quite nice. Anyway, I'm not even that orange. What a disappointment. Uh, Billie Eilish ticket come out at 10 o'clock, so... I'm gonna try and get them, I think. Do I want them? Yeah. But it's just like, where do I want to be? Can I be arse standing? But I can't be arse seating. Sitting. Dunno. But Jake's asleep, so I can't ask him. Just spent the morning finishing these, and I think they look sick, you know? Happy with them. Just need to put the laces out. Actually, I need to give them some top coat. But, um, yeah. Happy with them. Absolutely boss. Right. I need to stop saying that. I started saying it as a joke. Absolutely boss, and I can't stop saying it. Um, just going now to the tailors because I've been meaning to go for ages. I've got so many like so many clothes that need altering. Um gonna grow gonna go with a member of the family because we're all short as fuck. Little tailoring trip. Um and then I'm gonna get some head and shoulders from Tesco because this needs my washing out. I just uh, no. Hello! 475, what planet are they on? Do you know what, actually, that one's 250 mil and that one's 500 mil, so I could get two of them for four pounds. So fuck you, head and shoulders. Keep your 75p. Time to try and wash it out. Also, if you don't know, head and shoulders is just known for being good at getting colour out. They say on the website that it doesn't get colour out, because they're trying to like defend it, but it does. Slightly pink, we have movement already. Around one is done. Doesn't look any different so far though. Watch, I'll end up washing it out back to white. Round three, we definitely got some movement there. Definitely lighter, but still purple toned, unfortunately. And that is when you know you've done a good scrub. Fucking hell, it feels disgusting. Oh my God, my skin is so dry after that. that look at it. It's all like, you can't even see, but it looks like wrinkly. It's all like, <sighs> I'm gonna cover myself in moisturizer like a big giant slug. Right, he wants to hear a sad story. So in Tesco before I bought this deodorant because it's the deodorant that me and Jake used in Bali when we went, it must have been like three years ago now, it's fucking ages ago. I bought it because obviously when you smell something from a certain time, it brings back memories on it and I've just used it and oh, I can literally just smell barley. I've got Jake one as well because I want him to go through this experience that I've been through. How thoughtful am I? How sad am I? Bit of both. Definitely a lot lighter. Well, <laughs> Actually, it doesn't actually look that light. <laughs> oh, oh, just give up. Oh my god! Woo! What the fuck? Don't watch it. This is my breakfast because that's all that's left of the Cheerios. How sad is that? How sad is that, little man? Oh, look at that. Amazing. That's amazing. It makes me want to die listening to royalty free music. Have you heard this? I'm not putting this in the background of a brow tutorial. I don't see why we can't just use copyrighted music. I mean, come on, you know it's Miley Cyrus. I'll put it in the bio. It's not like I'm pretending to be me or something. Oh, I don't want this music. Fuck my life. I'm literally sick of seeing my own face at this point and having to watch that back just to make sure there was no mistakes was painful. I don't care about your brow lamination. Ah, oh, but it's done. It's done. I finally finished it. It's done. I've got to see the last one now. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. I was supposed to be going out today to see the football. To see the football. Does that... To watch the football, as if I'm going to watch it. Just going out, you know what I mean? Because the football's on. And then I said to Jake, do you want to come out? Blah, blah, blah. He says, no, I'm tired, no, I'm tired. Gets to quarter past three. 
Do you want to go out? I knew it. Boys, they can't be trusted with anything. Fucking useless. Right, I'm going to put the laces in these now. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm going to wear these out, I think. Not mad on the colour, but I can always repaint them. Tell me they're not cute. Tell me. I could have done a better colour, but... Ooh, very cute. Ah, I don't want to be a sad bastard, but just got in my car to um, get some bits. And I'm just sat in the back and it looks so cute from the back. Ah, just look at that. I wish I was in the back seat more often. How cute are you? I just love a Fiat. I love a Fiat. I know they get slagged off so much, but... You can't deny it. It's the cutest car out there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Guess what, though? No one's answering. No one's answering, of course. Classic. So I'll just wait here, shall I? Until someone answers. Great. Fab. In the meantime, I'll show you the outfit. I've gone for the honey top. Well, actually, I didn't. I put it on to do my makeup in, but it kind of looks cute. And then these jeans, which I've grown to love. Just got it. And then the shoes. I was going to say new, but they're not new, are they? I love them now. Also, I've done a little bit of a curly hair moment. When do I have curly hair? I like it though, it's cute. I feel like I look a bit old though. I haven't seen her ass in the shop in a second. Oh, get out, mate. Check who's it. <gasps> That's quite satisfying, isn't it? I really fancy big scrum, like I didn't have any tea, so um yeah, I'm into it big time. I was told that the chippy wasn't open and I passed it on the way home and it was open, so I'm pretty distraught because I'd have been really happy with the chippy, but I just want a big scrum now, I just want to eat everything. So I'm thinking there is actually some Moisa. I want some spaghetti bolognese and I looked in the fridge and we've actually got mincemeat. So it, would it be silly for me to make spaghetti bolognese when I'm drunk? I don't think so, I think it'd be very sensible. We're doing it. Don't fuck about. Spag ball is underrated, there should be more spag ball takeaways. Go for a night out, get a spag ball, take it home in a box. Why isn't that a thing? If I didn't have a boyfriend that was Jake, I'd have an Italian one. I'd love that. An Italian boyfriend? Yes. Yes. Yes, mate. <laughs> Tomato on my chin, mate. Log out. What the fuck was that? I shouldn't have done that. That was just stupid. I just feel sick now. Last day at Aldi tomorrow. Last day. How sad. That's fucking sad, but also fab. Going on an Aldi night out. Aldi night out. I've booked Aldi for nearly four years and not once have I been on an Aldi night out. It feels appropriate that on my last day, there is an Aldi night out. I think it's, is it a bank holiday this weekend? So yeah, I think it's going to be funny. Christ. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Oh... Today is my last day at Aldi. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? That's weird. Oh, my last day after four years. And for my last day, well, it's actually not the reason, but I'm putting makeup on today. Fuck. I've not worn makeup at Aldi for. I used to wear it every single day, even before like a six o'clock start. I'd get up at like four to do my makeup for Aldi. <laughs> when I had like baby pink hair, when I'd literally just started. I used to do that for like, must have been like a year and a half. Yeah, so I've not worn makeup for like two, three years. So, it'd be nice for the customers to see me like not looking half dead for once. But yeah, we're going out after it. So, I need to look not horrendous do you know what if it was like this every single day i'd just be happy for the rest of my life the leaves are finally coming back i feel like they've taken so long i'm ready i'm ready I'm pulling up my pants i didn't want to go too far i still wanted it to look not that you know not that makeupy but i don't know whether i've smashed it I'll tell you what would be funny 
Just to wash my wee. I'm going to wash my hands in the kitchen, actually. Um, I'll tell you what would be funny, if I went to work with a full glam on, you know, an actual full glam, that would be funny. I've never done that. Well, obviously I've never done that before. If I'd have gone to work in that Aldi glam, that would have been so funny. Well, to me, I don't know about everyone else, probably just thought I was a big old tramp. Holy fuck. Why the fuck was I eating spag ball at nearly two o'clock in the morning? I feel tragic now. Got me no porkers, of course. Hopefully they'll make me feel a bit better. Get in, you bitch. Oh my God, how cute is that? What is it though? A customer said to me, it was actually a customer that I know, have you lost a lot of weight? Yeah, you, I was like, no. He was like, oh, you were a lot fatter last time I saw you. Thanks a lot. That has stayed with me all day. I say all day, I've only been here about two hours, but, well, when they said it a fucking hour ago, but that stayed with me for an hour, that. It's funny how I say it while I'm eating sweets, but you used to be a lot fatter. Who says that to a girl? Great, thanks. I feel like I've always been a pretty similar weight. I never go, I yeah, I feel like I always stay the same kind of thing. Not that I'm skinny, not that I'm fat. I'm just like one splodge in the middle. Bastard. Last time I'll ever get to press this button. Ah! So much fun. This is it. <laughs> oh. Sad day. Right, I'm going out. Aldi night out. Way! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's a video, no? Oh, it's a vlog, mate. It's not just a video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in a vlog. We went to Aldi together and now she's leaving and I'm really sad. <laughs> oh my god, you're full. I like you. Um, so, I'm a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mortified actually because apparently <laughs> Stacey, please control oh, sorry, yourself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. Apparently, apparently, they got me a really nice card, a beautiful card, and everyone signed it. And someone's binned it apparently. One of um, Justina, someone fucking binned it. Your outer, apparently, the apparently the cleaners binned it, so I'm really gutted. So I'm thinking, so be, because I'm a sad bastard, I'm thinking of getting a card, bringing it back in, and asking them to rewrite. Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll we'll do it. Do it. Yeah. Sad, I'm, I'm just I'm too sentimental to not have it. Yeah, this is my my, my fav second joint favourite employee. Do a single I know you love George. I'm definitely favourite. Oh, I'm just gonna miss you so much. Oh, don't touch my lipstick. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh, I'm having a drink with my manager. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Oh shit. So apparently, apparently they're not serving these two yeah, tables anymore. These specific two tables tomorrow. anymore because they think we've had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> I have personally. That's deep. Okay, I'll take that first. I've not even had that. I'm much. upset. I'm We've literally upset. been cancelled from Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons cancelled. Don't go there. Call it off. Don't Call do it. it off. Don't do it. Go this to your local. Is, Spend your money this locally. This is an anti ad. Anti ad. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I mentioned my favourite employees, but the real one, the one of all, is Quirk. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna miss her so much. On this channel, I'm only she got possible. She's my favourite. I can't not. Cry. My Sundays will shine less bright now. So. I'm gonna have to come in every Sunday. <laughs> that no, that's good. So, straight, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. Oh my god. Absolutely bossed it. Out the cow park, be there or be fucking square. You know, don't know. Don't know, don't know. Don't know. Oh my god. I ended up crying. Oh no, I can't not cry. 
gonna stay in this. What is this? I knew I was gonna cry because I'm too sentimental. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm always crying anyway. Never mind at the end of four years. I'm, I knew I was gonna cry. Oh, seeing everyone just made me not want to quit. <laughs> made me regret it. Really, because I know so I'm gonna miss everyone so much. But it's gonna be a good thing, but it just made me so sad. Now you can't uh, you can't get it out. Uh, can you believe that Aldi Aldi, not Tesco, not Sainsbury's, not Weight Rose, not Ocado, not Iceland, not Palm Foods, Aldi got kicked out of Weatherspoons. Nobody else, Aldi, got kicked out of Weatherspoons. <laughs> I am impressed. If anything, I am proud. Well done, Aldi. You don't be proud tonight. I need some lighting. This <clears throat> is me. Okay. Well, I'm all showered and washed. I think that's the end of this week. I don't think there's anything... To be honest, I'm sorry because I don't think that week was this interesting. Does that even make sense? I don't think this week was that interesting. <laughs> oh, but it was such an important week for me. Because that was literally the end of... The end of Aldi. And that... And a oh, fuck, if I say it again, I'll probably cry. I'm a little bit drunk, but I'm also really upset, so... Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this week. Even if it's not been that entertaining, but it was also a big week for me. So, if you give a shit, then it was a big week for you, too. Look at the size of that acrylic. That's a big acrylic. That is one big acrylic. <laughs> Humphrey, Yoda, have you got anything to say? Yoda? Not much. Humphrey? Oh, Humphrey's fucked. Well, I don't think either of them got anything to say. So good to be leaving because honestly it was fun and I, I honestly really did enjoy that job. I loved everyone there and when I handed him a notice I didn't really want to hand it in. I was like umming and ahhing about it for ages and then I handed it in and I was dead excited to leave and then it came to it and I was like fuck but You've got to do what's best for you. I think it was the right thing to do. But yeah. The end. The end of an era. Onwards and upwards. But yes. I hope you've enjoyed this week. Even though I've been bibbing my tits off. And I've not done anything that is remotely interesting. But. You know. If, you, if you're a day one. You're a day one. You know. See you later. See you in the next one if I've not poured you in this one too much. God, I'm snotty. I think I should get some chocolates out of here while Jake's in the shower because I think that's sensible.